All right, here we are with another read aloud. This one is called Edible Bugs. Edible means you are able to eat something. So yes, this book is all about bugs you can eat, which I know sounds disgusting, but we're gonna read about it and how in some cultures, that's just part of what they eat. It's part of their food sources. So as we read, think about, okay, where are these different countries? What are their cultures like? And we're gonna learn about some bugs that are totally okay to eat. Here's our table of contents. All right, bugs, yuck or yum. Years ago, Japanese restaurants in the United States introduced people to sushi. These dishes made of rice and raw seafood made many people think yuck. Today, sushi is sold all over the country, even in supermarkets. And raw means it's not cooked. Another kind of food is now starting to show up in the United States, insects. While the thought of eating bugs makes some people uncomfortable, mm -hmm. others are starting to give insects a try. Maybe someday we'll see fried grasshoppers on our shelves. What do you think? You think you'd ever eat a fried grasshopper? I mean, we didn't used to eat sushi, so maybe fried grasshoppers are yummy. Good for you foods. People all around the world have been eating insects for thousands of years, and with good reason. Many insects are good for people's health. In some parts of the world, people don't have many different kinds of foods. It may be difficult for them to get the nutrients they need. So here's our photo. It says a woman in Africa eats termites for nutrients. Termites are tiny little bugs that eat wood. Insects have large amounts of protein. For example, 100 grams of grasshopper has around 20 grams of protein and only 6 grams of fat. That's only six grams of protein less than the same amount of beef. Termites and some caterpillars are also great sources of iron and crickets are high in calcium. Calcium is good for your bones. Other insects such as termite and ant queens have large amounts of healthy calories. People in some places may need these calories and nutrients to survive. So here's a little chart that's giving us nutritional information. So it has the different animals here how much protein is in them, how much fat, how much calcium, and how much iron. So you can see here something like a cricket has 12.9 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of fat, 75.8 milligrams of calcium, that's a lot, remember calcium is really good for your bones, and 9.5 milligrams of iron, and iron is good for your blood. So compare that to ground beef, which is what we eat like from cows and we make hamburgers or tacos. So it has 27 grams of protein, which is a lot, but look how much more fat is in it. 26.5 grams of fat versus only five and a half grams from a cricket. So it's pretty interesting. Would you rather, would you rather eat an insect or a lobster for dinner? How about after you find out that insects and lobster are related? Insects, lobsters, crabs, spiders, scorpions, and many other animals are all arthropods. These animals have all have their skeletons on the outside of their bodies. So if you would eat a lobster or a crab, they're saying it's very similar to just eating um, an insect because they have their skeleton outside of their body and all of the meat that you eat is inside. Eating insects is also good for the planet. A large insect farm creates about 10 times less harmful waste than a cattle ranch. It also takes up a much smaller amount of space. Although people eat insects in many places, it is still not very common. However, it is more common in these places than in the United States. Two men examine the worms being grown at an insect farm. So they're saying that it's not really common in the United States to eat insects, but in other places, it's that that's what they do all the time. It's totally normal. Bugs served around the world. Thailand. In Thailand, some outdoor stands sell crispy fried water bugs. People add sauce, just as we might put mustard or ketchup on a hot dog. Other people snack on grasshoppers and bamboo worms. So here's a map showing us where these places are. So here's Thailand over here, here's China, and this is the whole of Asia. And in China, water bugs boiled in a special sauce can be found in some restaurants in China. 
The bugs and sauce are served over rice. When the weather gets chilly, some people have a steaming bowl of ant soup. And here's another photograph. It says in Thailand, a man sells many different cooked insects at a stand. So they cook them up and they sell them and they'll put them in a little bag and you just take it and go. I mean, you pay for it, of course, but you can just eat it or take it home, whatever you want. Ghana. Some people fry or roast termites in Ghana. Termites can also be ground into flour for baking. So here's where Ghana is on our map. Remember, this is the text feature. Here's all of Africa, and there's this little tiny country of Ghana. A woman in Africa sells fried termites. This is what they look like. All right, here's a text box that has information. It says snail snacks. Other strange creatures are eaten around the world. In French restaurants, you might find an interesting item on the menu, snails. The dish is called escargot, the French word for snail. The snails are taken out of their shells, cooked, and placed back inside the shells. Diners use special tools to hold a shell and pull out the snail meat. So think about eating a snail, what that would be like. Brazil. One town in Brazil cooks queen ants every October and November. This is when queen ants come out from hiding underground. People collect the ants and remove their wings. Some fry the ants, while others dip them in chocolate. The people say queen ants have a minty taste. I mean, they taste like mint. That'd be interesting to try. A man collects ants in a bucket to cook or freeze for later. The ants' minty taste comes from the food they eat. So here's where Brazil is in South America. And that's what the ants look like here. Mexico. In Mexico, some people enjoy French fried caterpillars or ant eggs covered in butter. For dessert, chocolate covered locusts or candy covered worms are sweet treats. At some restaurants in Mexico, you can order a grasshopper taco, top, that's right here, or a plate of fried worms with guacamole. What do you think? Do you think you would ever eat that? That would be interesting. And here's where Mexico is on the map. We should know, right? Part of North America. Australia. Some Australians munch on witchetty grubs, which look like large white caterpillars. These insects have crisp skin and smooth filling that tastes like almonds. Right here. In Japan, some restaurants in Japan serve fried silk moth cocoons. Fried grasshoppers and other insects are sold in some stores. So here are the photographs. The witchetty grubs are ready for cooking. That's here. And fried silk moth cocoons are a popular treat. Right here. And then the maps of our countries. Be careful. It is very important to remember the following. Never eat wild insects. Walking into your backyard for a buggy snack can be dangerous. Insects that live outside can be covered with stuff that might harm you if you eat it. Also, some kinds of insects are poisonous and can make you very sick. The bodies or spines on some caterpillars, such as the Io moth caterpillar, are very poisonous and can harm people when touched or eaten. Other insects, such as the blister beetle, have different and painful ways to protect themselves. So we cannot just go outside and eat any bug we want. People who cook and eat insects should be careful to buy them from farms. Farmed insects have special diets. Also, farmers make sure the insects are not exposed to things that might harm people. In the United States, the best way to find edible insects is on the internet. People can find live insects, meals made with insects, and tasty insect recipes. The crickets in this insect farm are kept in clean containers until they are packaged and shipped out. So here's where they live, and then they package them up to ship. Let's start cooking. David George Gordon, a chef from Seattle, Washington, wrote the Eat a Bug cookbook. People like his pasta made with six-legged meatballs, which are made with crickets. Other favorites are fried tarantula and white chocolate and waxworm cookies. Gordon believes that eating insects is a better way to get protein than eating chickens, cows, or pigs. Insects are cheap and easy to farm in plain fish tanks. They do not harm the environment. For these reasons, insects may be the food of the future. Can you swallow the idea? And then here's the image showing David George Gordon is about to cook another dish using scorpions. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys can go through the glossary and look through what each of the words mean. I'm gonna post 
the link to this book as well. And remember, after you finish listening to it, I want you to write in the comments that you're done and tell me one interesting thing you learned about edible bugs. Great job, you guys.